What's up, guys? It's your guy, Weto, in line with YouTube community guidelines. If you aren't over 21, we ask that you don't watch this video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Weto's World. It's your guy, Weto, and on today's episode, I've got my man, Smiley Brew, in here with me. With fast lane only, we're gonna break down what's going on with his goddamn music career and everything else he's got cooking, man. He's got a lot going on under and behind the scenes. So, of course, you already know, we're gonna hit you with a quick commercial break, and when we get back, we're gonna dive into the hustle. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Your guy, Weto, my man, Smiley Rue. Let's figure this thing out. All right, so now that one's gone. Now it's just me and you, my man. Uh, so welcome to Weto's World. It's been a long time coming. I've known your happy ass for quite some time, Mr. Smiley. Smiley Rue, if that actually, you better say the whole damn name. I'm always so there. where are you from, my man? If everybody else that doesn't know, and what you got going on? Well, I was originally born in Oakland, California, but you know, I'm a Bakersfield baby. In okay. the street, baby, you know. I've been there a few times. Field. Not on that particular block, but yeah, I've been out there a few times. Shout out to Cali one time. So how the hell did you get out here to Las Cruces? What brought you here? Well, when I got out of my little sticky situation, you know, I mm -hmm. came out here and messed with my moms and shit. She was out here, but you know. You were just holding it down with moms for a while there yeah. going to school or? Yeah, I was going to school for a little while. Okay. My little culinary arts on. I was gonna say, I think that's where we actually ended up bumping into each other was on NMSU campus, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah that's when you just we're starting to do what I want to say. Way back in the day, in 09, 08, actually, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a long time coming, man. Like I said, I've been chasing this fucker for quite some time. So, doing what you're up to with the music and everything else, like, what what originally got you started in the music? Honestly, I, what got me started in music was, like, I recently got started because my little homie out here, you know, CM Dela TZ, you know. Hey, hey one time the TZ, that you crazy know, bastard. That motherfucker got me back on the shit, but I always did music, but I just never took it serious. You know? Okay. So just kind of dabble freestyle and stuff like that, running yeah. around party and shit. Yeah. And then now you that you met up with TZ and the CM Doug, the whole crew. Mm -hmm. So now you're locking in, getting a little better with like lyrical stuff and stuff like that, or? I got more meaning to my music nowadays. You know, okay. I've been through a lot of shit, you know, so. Well, you didn't stop with chefing though, right? Like you still, I know you're pretty, pretty nasty with it. I still be whipping it up sometimes, hey. you, know? you know. And legitimately at that too, this man can cook. If y'all ever get a chance, let him cook something for you. I've, I've known, known you for quite a time and anything that you've ever made, it's not a miss. Not so, and that goes with, with food and with your music, man. You've been kicking a bunch of raw, authentic music out lately. What's in your latest single? Living right that just dropped today. Oh, so, okay. About the already shot the video for that. That's gonna be coming out pretty soon. So you're just building a whole team of networking and just yeah. getting it bigger and better. Yeah. What's, what's up, man? Now, how are you? Are you balancing? Because you have you have a family. You're a family man as well. Yeah. So, how are you balancing all of that with the music career and life in general as itself? Well, the bag come first, but other than that, the like. Outside of the bag, you know, strictly my son, you know, he's in football, so football full time dad, rides to practice, games, all that. Right, you gotta stay on top of it, man. That's got to. Being a dad entrepreneur is one hell of a task, man, and it's definitely not for the faint of heart, but right. you obviously seem to be kicking ass at it, man. So appreciate it. Cheers to that one time. Speaking of which, cheers to the Cubs, my man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Appreciate you one time. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Bel Air. Mm, we're gonna get a sponsorship with that, damn it. <laughs> Hennessy too, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So, you got the Fast Life, Fast Lane only. You got going on with that. What's up with your merchandise? What's up with the team? Um, you know, that's big bro. You know, my boy Sam Dub Cali. I'm sure y'all heard of him, you know. One time with Cali, what's up? Yeah, he's doing this thing, you know, music, you know. He's just a family man, take care of his own, family only. And that's it, man. So they're kind of putting you, like they're giving you structure with what you've been up to lately, or? Yeah, of course, you know, we very tight knit. So it's like, you know, fast lane only. That's just us. So it's like, ain't nobody else. It's just us. So is he, is he like, is he a producer for what you're doing? Or is he he's another? I know because he's an artist as well. Yeah. He's actually, he's going to be up on the show as well. Yeah, as a matter of fact. That's my brother. That's family. You know what I'm saying? That's that's love. That's loyalty right there. And that's from out here in, in Cruces? Yeah. 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 Oh, damn. Well, check that out, man. Yeah, like I said, I know TZ, that was the first one I was introduced to with the CM Dub and everybody yeah. else. And then... 
like it seems like you guys are just kind of expanding and getting bigger and you've been working with um, some of the local producers in town as well. And yeah, fucking with Draylene on Fat Crates. Fat Crates dot com, putos one time, man. Yeah. They're even bumping out a bunch of heat too. That whole team. Fucking with Draylene, you know, DJ Aaron, you know, mm-hmm. it's all yeah. love. Everybody out there, man. There's a. It might be a small city, but there's a lot of hustle in here for sure. For sure, in the land of producers, man. For sure. So, um, with the fast, fast lane and everything else you got going on, that's tons of stuff to unbox. So what we're gonna do. I sit you guys with a quick commercial break, and when we get back, we're going to continue with my man, Smiley Group. We'll be right back. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My man, Smiley Roo. We got goddamn fast lane in this motherfucker. We're holding it down, doing the damn thing, so let's continue the hustle. So, my man, we've been discussing your whole team and everything you got cooking and everybody else in between. Yeah, like, move that mic out the way. You're good. Yes, sir. Yeah, just drop it down. Fuck it. You'll be all right. All right. So now... The one that we was talking about with my man Callie. What's up, big dog? I've been in the building with us. Welcome to Weddows Road, dog. So now we've got a team of the two of you. So what's up with you guys? How's it going? Shit. Sure. You know, we just rocking, man. We, know, now. we cooking up some music right now. We got an EP finna drop. You know, how to get away with murder. What they talking about. You know, so hey. finna do that. Cook that up. Yeah, this and you said you an EP for that one? Yeah, we're gonna do an EP for that. Drop like five songs for it. Okay, I've been I've been trying to learn. I've been talking to a lot of rappers here lately and learning all the lingo and LPs, EPs, albums, and mixtapes. So different things. It's cool to see that you guys are putting in work regardless of whatever it is. So now, are you you rapping as well as producing, or are you just totally up on the scene with videos and everything, or are you just rapping right now? Uh, I'll just show up and show out. <laughs> Get to the damn money. I know that's right. Yes, <laughs> Seems to be the team and the whole mindset behind a lot of you guys, especially with you and Teezy. Um, sure. You guys don't miss, like I said. So what are y'all talking about on how to get away with murder? Oh, man, we talking. What we talking about, man? Talk that shit. I mean, for real, just, you know, <laughs> shit people been through. Yeah. Going through, living. The lifestyles and shit, the choices. Nothing, man. nothing fake. Everything real. Everything we talk about is real, so don't get it confused. No cap in the rap, man. No, none of that. None I believe it, that. too. I've, I've told story a few times, man, and I was talking to you about it before we even got on here, that a lot of people don't believe me, but I've seen you literally sock a man out of his shoes <laughs> for disrespecting you. So it's, it's been crazy to see, you know, the transition of the character of Smiley and where you've been going, man. So it's cool to see that you're here sitting with me and putting it into an actual profession and making some fucking moves out of it, man. That's yeah. badass. Now you got a team that don't miss either. They're up, every time I see you guys are decked out doing the damn thing. So it's cool to see that, man. Um, yeah. My man, Callie, do you have anything uh, you're adding to it? Are you doing singles or anything like that on your own? Yeah, yeah. I'll just be, I'm saying, I'm about to drop a new single. Probably called Cartel Flow. Okay. And that's going to be dropping sometime this month, because I think we're in February now, so. We always waiting for brother to do his thing real quick. Yeah. Get yeah, it, man. It's get coming, it. it's coming. He got some shit out right now that's banging, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Never changed. Is it, um, with TZ, right? Nah, it was a single. Was I got some shit about to come out with TZ, too. Okay. So what kind of, like, creative process are y'all doing? Like, when you're in the in, in the studio or at, at your house? Are you doing it at your house? Or what, how are you guys making it? Yeah, we uh we actually record at Fat Crates, you know, but bro got his own shit. You know, we got our own shit, so fast lane only, so we be doing our thing there. It's just a vibe, man. Like, we hang out with each other every day, so it's like, it's just a vibe. We it's just life. go off each other, yeah. yeah. Understandable, yeah. It's, it's a lot easier when you're actually in it together instead of trying to link up and, oh, well, did you do this? Did I do that? When you actually, nah, we was both in there sure. grabbing a bag, yeah. damn it. Yeah. So, yeah. you ain't mad at that, man. Now, you know, pushing forward and making sure that everything's working right, are you guys, so when you film your stuff, how, what platforms are you using? Or shooting our videos? Yeah, or, or even just for like releasing media and everything like that, letting everybody know what's going on. Well, you know, you can follow me on Instagram at Smiley, S M I L E I R O U. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the IG tag, you know. You know, Apple Music, Spotify, it's Pandora, anything yeah. you listen to music. Any on, damn on platform that, that you got, plug in and get your damn money, man. I yeah. hear that. I know that's right. That's the same. It's a weird, I, I think like all the COVID shit, you kind of, if you didn't have a hustle and that didn't bring it out of you, then you got to have to get the fuck out of the lane. 
a lot of people got ran over during yeah, this COVID. For real, a lot so. of got ran over. And like I said, it's dope to see that y'all are putting <laughs> foot on the gas and making it work. And it's, you're not, there's no quit in sight. And then, like you said, you just released your, your latest single, Living Right. Mm -hmm. And then I know you have, uh, what is it, Politics as well? Yeah, I dropped Politics earlier this month. I got another song finna come out too, you know. I'm, I'm finna drop this month. I got like four songs coming out this month, plus a video. So just constant heat yeah. on, staying on it, ready to yeah, go. Yeah, see him dub TZ, fuck you. Tore up January, so hey, I did. I Was it Cheaper favorite. Route? That, that one hey, constantly man, stays that in rotation. Man, drop. Cheaper Route, he did the my bag, my bag mm -hmm. the best of me. That little motherfucker. Salute to CMW TZ. I fuck with you. <laughs> one time, my man TZ holding it down. Yeah. So it's cool, man. Like I said, like you, you found your passion in your lane along with the culinary arts, and now you're also doing the music and everything else. So, like, what, what else you got going on next besides obviously, you know, you talk about music videos and everything like that? Is there like, are y'all gonna be doing venues or anything like that? Trying to book shows? Oh, most definitely. That's that's in that's in the future for the simple fact that you know El Paso. Texas, they don't really care about this COVID shit, so. Yeah. There's <laughs> like 30 minutes away. It's a whole yeah. other world over there, yeah, man. So it's a trip. Like, we got a bag behind us, so we finna probably bring somebody out and open up for them and That's just cool. us fast lane on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, so. gotta pave your own lane sometimes and you gotta pay the price to be, yeah. you know. To you gotta be pay the play. You feel me? That is, That's the truest in it, man. I know we was talking too about, you know, we've known each other for quite some time, fucker. <laughs> so. What what would you say like what does do what I want represent in your hustle man where where does that play a part? Well, that honestly man, I'm gonna tell y'all something about do what I want. He probably asked this question to everybody on this damn podcast. <laughs> Try to, but it's different for me because like I seen you from when you was like like you said bro back when we was going to school and the mess you young. Motherfuckers was rocking big ass 3X do what I want t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Big prints. You know what I'm saying? Just ugging it. So it's like it's it's very meaningful to me. So it's like do what I want is like it's family to me, bro. Yeah. It's not no meaning to me. It's family. So. I appreciate that. Cheers one That's time to that one, man. Bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, TZ. I'll smoke that up one time. It's <laughs> cool to see that. And here in New Mexico, man, everything's popping off with the all the cannabis and shit. It's tight to see that. Yeah. Hopefully this will be a dispensary soon enough too. So we'll keep that under wraps. But you heard it here first, damn it. So yeah. that's dope, man. Um, now I also had mentioned from quite a long time ago wearing those damn do what I want shirts and going to what is it, Club or Studio Sixty Four? Or what was it, the yeah. studio? It was just a studio. I've never been the only white boy in there with you just uh, thugging, not even, no, I don't even thugging, just wearing vans like, hey guys, what's up? And you're like, what, well, I don't talk to nobody, just sit against the wall and chill. Yeah. So it's, it's, been a, it's been a crazy process being yeah, around you this long, man. Remember when we went to go see Slim Thug? Yeah, I, I, we've been, long. and even with back before Smitty, right here next to us at UGK when they were on, uh, what was it, Idaho? Oh yeah. I think I think I actually went with you the first time I actually got like a first taper cut and I didn't know what the fuck that oh, was. Yeah, I had to get the white boy taper Yeah, but you know, it's, we stay we stay a little frosty <laughs> out there, so a little different. <laughs> I swear them haircuts, man, they go quick though, so I, I like to let my shit grow a little bit more. But yeah. that's cool, man. I, I appreciate you stepping it down here and pulling it down with me here on Weddle's World. My man Callie holding it down as well, showing up, letting them know what's going on. We're gonna get you on the episode as well too, man. Have your own thing. Get your spotlight, let everybody know what's cooking behind the scenes. If people do want to work with you guys though, where can they reach you? Besides, I mean, I know you said Instagram, but is there like emails or anything like that? Yeah, think? you know, swipergang10 at gmail.com. Right here, right here. You can hit him on his Instagram, CMW Cali. Honestly, if you ain't fast lane, you gotta come with a bag. Okay. I ain't talking about a big bag neither, cause I ain't made it yet. But I at least need at least three hundred. Well, you gotta get a couple racks in there, goddamn. <laughs> Give me three hundred dollars. I'll come <laughs> fuck your song up for you. There you go. Get a feature with my man one time. Put yeah. on. Put on for you. Put on for them one time. If you're trying yeah. to put on me, you can come find me here at seventeen seventy South Tell Shore here in Las Cruces at Sweet C, right next to UGK Barbershop. Of course, you can follow me on all the social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, you name it. I'm all over the damn place. You want to click the shop, DWIW.shop. Um, as far as that goes, you got anything you want to let them know before you get out of here? Man. Fuck. A little hazy in here. Fuck yeah. That. <laughs> right, one time, this video ain't nothing but mutual, man. It's a lot of love, motherfucker. Yeah. It's good to see you. 
Everybody here on Weddell's World, that's a wrap. Cheers, folks. Yeah. 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 Mm. Nice.